In this demo, you will see how the new Custom Script Monitor with Application Monitoring and B-Realize Operations 8.0 delivers AppAware IT Ops. Custom Script Monitor allows you to add your own custom metrics to B-Realize Operations. In this scenario, a DBA has messaged you that the survey DB needs more virtual disk. The C drive has filled up and is causing issues. To begin, you want to investigate the VM to understand how the disk is currently being used. The DBA isn't sure of the VM name, so let's use the application name to find it. The Object Summary page shows the related objects for the database in the Navigation panel. Here we can find the virtual machine. Now we can see the Summary page for the database VM, and there is an alert for the guest OS running out of disk space. The impacted file system is the C drive, as the DBA stated. Let's get more detail about the usage. We will use a two-line script to run a PowerShell command that will find the file size of the subdirectories. First, we will make sure the command is executed at the root of C, and then we'll run the PowerShell one-liner. The script was successful and returned the output of the PowerShell command. We can see that the temp folder is consuming 12 gigabytes of space. Wow, clearly some cleanup is needed. You alert the DBA about the temp folder, and she states that she will clean it up, but the problem is Chad, the marketing director. He has a poorly written script that extracts data from the survey database. The script does not clean up after itself, and over time, the C drive fills up. She says the DB team has a name for these files, Chadlets. Let's use the custom script monitor to monitor the file count of the temp folder. That way, we can set an alert when there are too many Chadlets in the folder. Custom Script Monitor is available through Application Monitoring. This screen allows you to deploy and manage updates as well as configure monitoring. Here we can invoke a script which is stored locally on the VM Guest OS. Let's go over to the Guest OS using RDP to configure the script there. We have a handy PowerShell script which can return the number of child objects in a directory and return that number as output. Custom Script Monitor will run the script every five minutes and capture this output value and store it as a metric in vRealize operations. Notice the script allows for a parameter in the base directory where the count will run. You can add input parameters to Custom Script Monitoring so you don't have to create unique scripts for every use case. Now we can input the Custom Script settings. Let's review each of the settings. Display name is how the custom script will appear in the metrics tab. File path is the local path on the guest OS where the script is stored. Prefix can be used if you need to invoke the script from a particular interpreter, in our case, PowerShell. Args is where you would include any input parameters for the script. Timeout defaults to five minutes. Since the script monitor runs every five minutes, this setting is probably best left at default. We now have a script monitor. Within five minutes, it will start collecting the number of files in the temp folder on the C drive of the guest OS. Let's go check the status. It looks like the DBA was able to clean up the chatlets and the alert has cleared. There is no need to add disk space to this VM. Indeed, the usage of the guest OS file system has decreased. Let's check on our new metric from the Custom Script Monitor. Great! Custom Script Monitor is working, reporting the number of objects in the temp folder. Now we can continue to monitor this, creating an alert and adding some automation to clean up the chadlets and emailing the DBA automatically to let them know what is going on. As you can see, the Custom Script Monitor in vRealize Operations provides extensibility for OS and application monitoring. AppAware Operations means you can verify and validate VM sizing requests, provide better service to your SDDC customers, and run your operations at peak efficiency and performance.